Hey guys, it's your boy Pira. So it's another one, man. Uh, on today's videos, man, I'm gonna be talking about uh, a lot of things. I'm gonna be touching a lot of topics, but to make things short, it's gonna be how to use Meta Twitter 4 and Meta Twitter 5. A lot of my clients, guys, have been struggling, been telling me none of them have ever traded Forex, none of them have ever done this. So here we are, it's Forex Villa Pro, the home of Man of Wealth. We just want to show you the right thing so that you don't get scammed, you don't get sideways. First, you're seeing it from us, from our YouTube channel. And guys, we're going to be taking it slow as it can be. So first of all, I'm going to start with the Meta Twitter 4. It doesn't matter where you get it from or where you download it from. It doesn't matter. You can just go to to what, to any, any page. Uh, just Google download uh, Meta Trader 4. But now, the best place to get Meta Trader 4 is going to be your local broker or any broker that you're using. If you don't have any broker, simply go to XNES um, Meta Trader 4 XNES. And then it says just take free download meter trader 4 and XNAS and just navigate the IRS and just simply download it. I'm gonna leave a link below and just download there. Trading terminal is gonna download automatically and you're gonna find it under downloads. I already downloaded it before, but not just here. It's been old, it's been old, it's been old. It's an old terminal. So there it is, I've already opened it. And once it opens it, you can see this one is from Trade245. And a lot of people don't realize that it doesn't matter if it's a Trade245 trading platform. You can just simply go to File and say uh, Open an Account. Uh, it says Add New Broker right there. And for the record, I'm using Access just like I've told you. So I'm just going to go ahead and search for Access and just press Scan. And it's just going to keep on scanning servers from Axness. And as simple as that, man, the terminal is going to detect Axness servers. And I'm just going to go ahead and look for the server that I use. So I'm looking for real 20. Then this is it. And just click on it. You wait for it to be green or you can just press next. There it is. It's already detected it. And I'm just going to go ahead and put in the login id with the login id and the password and voila and just press finish and just like that man i'm already locked in just look at that just says waiting for for an update you can just close those chart because they're not compatible with this platform so over here you can just simply chart any window that you have and there is you have your markets and everything but this is not a market i'm interested in so i can just simply close the chart there so i'm just going to talk you through the features that this trading terminal has so right here i've got my market watch my navigator my terminal or toolbox on on the meta trader 5 they call it toolbox but just to quick show you how it works, everything can be accessed through Vume. So let's just say you misplace some of these things and and that at the bottom right there. And uh, let's just say you just wanna open it again. Just go to view and add view. You can open a market wise this way. You find all your markets. Let me just say hide all for now so that I can also show you the trick regarding the market wise so if ever like you're looking for a symbol and it doesn't show uh on the on the chart there just simply go to view and just go to symbol and a window will pop out and you can decide whether if you want to trade forex or whatever it is that you want interested so i'm gonna go ahead and take the major currencies and some of the major markets that i know so i'm just gonna start with the euro usd the most famous one uh AUD SD is also fine. So the the disadvantage of this one is that I'd like it doesn't give me maybe I don't know, but 
uh, it doesn't give me the option to search. You will see when we get to meter 25 that it's quite easy to navigate there. So this one, you just have to be careful and just make sure you find what you're looking for. Uh, with that being said, crypto group, Bitcoin, I know most, most of the guys, they love these and indexes and just go ahead and just select NASDAQ. And then stocks and everything else, I'm not interested in that. So for today's video, I'm just going to be showing you based on these things right here, guys. So bear with me. Bear with me, please. Uh, this is it. And then with those markets being added, let's say now I just want to chart the window. Just right click and just say chart the window. And there I am. I have Great Britain USD. But that's not it. We haven't started our trading yet. Just go to view. Now at your navigator, if you want to check your account and everything like that. And another window is going to pop out on top of this one. But you can also have an option to move it to anywhere you want. So I, I don't want that. I want it to be here. And another one, this navigator just helps you. If ever like you want to trade using trading indicators, automated trading, since you know Forex Villa is the home of automated trading, this is the tool that you use on a meter trader for. And if ever, man, you want to spice things a little bit, you can get Forex Villa Pro Indicator and those other robots that you need. And just like that, you will be set on your major trade of four, but that's not all. How do you monitor your trade? This the terminal. The terminal helps you look into your account and what has been happening in your account. Just here at the far left, at the bottom left is the trade and then the exposure one for those who really know trading and account history is where the close trade is going to be the news the alerts the mailbox uh the market signals articles code base experts in general what i want to point out here is the alerts if ever there are errors you're gonna report it here and if ever there's something that you should know this is where you're gonna be uh the mailbox where your broker is going to be communicating with you uh also on your personal email of course but just for the sake of information and another one that i like is the experts this is where if ever you're using an expert advisor your errors is going to be displayed so whatever the expert is doing is going to be displayed over here so guys that's it from me this is how you use your meter trader for in order to trade forex so over here we've got trading tools let me know stop there if you ever want to change time frames you use this right here if ever like it doesn't show just go to views and go to toolbars and just select standard or whatever you want the standard one just give you the standard features display and if ever like you want uh time frames to be added you just have to make sure it has been ticked study lines make sure they have been ticked your chart has been ticked and everything like that is going to be over here and everything that we've just talked about is everything that's now over here that i'm just dragging and putting it nicely over there so that my chart looks good as well so if ever like there's something that you don't see you can just simply drag right there or if you want to make your terminal bigger you can also increase right there i'm going to tie some of these things on the on the when we go to talk about the meter trade of five terminal because it's quite simple it's quite the same so you see my chart has a, a, a grid and it was somewhere far at the at the right so i just wanted to move that and you can see now if i want to zoom in it's not candlesticks and we know we love candlestick you can also check there so those are just trading tools that you can use in order to view the market if you don't like the grid like me you can right click and remove the grid and you can also access things like time frame over here one click trading also there if you click it it's gonna pop if you want to sell want to buy you can use that tool over here so you just right click on the chart if you want one click like trading depth of the market and so on and so on some of the things you'll have to figure it out on your own your sell limit your buy stop this is where you find them how to remove grid auto arrange if you want the chart to be automatically arranged by itself without you doing last want to zoom in zoom out want to take pictures or whatever it is so guys that's it from me appreciate it for watching up to this point don't forget to subscribe hit that like hit that notification bell man help us share awareness with forex villa it's your boy peter we're signing up